You got a letter from Dennis Hennigan with the Brady campaign asking you basically to justify or explain what you meant when you were talking about how our gun rights are disregarded, especially in Illinois. They don't have a concealed carry law, the only state yet not to have one on the books. Your reaction when you got that letter? I was, uh, <laughs> I was actually pretty surprised. I bet. Um, Look, I, I, I represent the district in Illinois, and, and I'm not bashful in saying that when it comes to Second Amendment rights, my state is an embarrassment. We're, we're, we're the last state standing without concealed carry. Um, it's something we've got to do something about as quickly as we can in Illinois. Uh, and, and for the Brady campaign to to be a, a little, for Mr. Hennigan to be a little, uh, to take umbrage with the fact that I hold the Second Amendment near and dear, and that I consider it to be the most important amendment in the Bill of Rights, uh, boy, that's a debate I'd love to I'd love to continue with them. No kidding. I mean, as you said, Illinois, the last state. I mean, concealed carry has been on the books across this country, and it's made a difference for so many people. I mean, we talk to armed citizens all the time. Yeah. They yeah. just, you know, I admired you because you laid it out in black and white. Hey, you want to know the facts? I'll give you the facts. Well, and that's the thing. So you spell out the facts, and it always slays me because you and I know the facts. We we know what concealed carry does. We know what it, that it brings down crime rates. We know it brings down violent crime rates, and we can go on and on through all of that. But it always it always bothers me a little bit when I get into that argument because it's not fair. How come it's all? How come it's only the Second Amendment that we have to defend? Uh, via a factual argument, it, 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 to me, it's 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 a matter of freedom. It's there. It's in the Constitution. Uh, why do we have to use details to defend it? That's what I take umbrage in. And and again, I clearly, Mr. Hennigan and and anti-gun right folks, they have a different agenda, and they don't even acknowledge the basic freedom issue. No, and they don't acknowledge the fact that you talk to any victim, and they'll say to those folks, "Walk in my shoes just once." Right. Oh, absolutely! I was in a, I was in a town hall uh, in in my district. I, I think which uh, prompted this letter from Mr. Hannigan, and, and there was a, a a gun control advocate there, uh, who who said that uh, it, 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 having a gun uh, it, it will not necessarily do anything to alleviate the threat. And my question to him was, who makes that determination? Who makes that determination? Uh, the person carrying the gun knows whether he or she feels threatened. Look, it's a, it, again, it's, this is a basic uh, constitutional right uh, that for some reason we treat in this country like, uh, you know, the uncle that we want to keep in somebody's basement. And, and I'm tired of this. I'm a huge states' rights guy, but, uh, but I'm at the point being a member of Congress where, to me, this is a civil rights issue, and, 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 and the federal government needs to. I think, be more active with this issue. What do you think is going to happen in Illinois? Do you see them getting a concealed carry law anytime soon? I know there's a lot of sheriffs that say, hey, let's get it done. You know what? We're really, really close. We were very close. We were five or six votes away last session. There has been a, the, the growth of a huge grassroots movement in Illinois, really around the state. Principally, what's keeping us away from it is obviously Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the the politicians in and some of the special interest groups in and around Chicago are just terrible when it comes to this issue. But I really do think, uh, with all the pressure that folks like you and a lot of the grassroots folks are are putting to bear in Illinois, I think we really are very close. Yeah, and you pointed that out in your you know your response. You said, "Hey, look, you know the Supreme Court struck down the handgun ban in Chicago, and guess what?" Nothing has changed. Surprise, surprise, and that's not a surprise to us. Mm -hmm. It's not a surprise. It happened in D.C. It happened in Chicago. Uh, we know it works. And, again, I'll, you and I will have that debate all day with people who yeah. say it doesn't work. Uh, I want to debate on the basic freedom issue as well. You know, and you look at these folks and you say, okay, you don't want to carry a gun. That's fine. But don't deny me that right. And, and they don't even want to recognize the fact that even if they don't want to carry, the fact that somebody else is can make a big difference. Yeah, you know what it is? It's, it's it, 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 politicians and, and, and these other special interest groups who are against our Second Amendment rights. They just don't have the courage 
to take on the real issues in this country. They don't want to do anything about illegal immigration. They don't want to truly do anything about crime and enforce our laws. They have a hard time doing real reformed education, especially in our inner cities. And so what do they do? They, they, all, they take all these things out on guns. And if we just get rid of guns, you know, the world will be wonderful. Uh, that's clearly not the case. Yeah, go to the UN and listen to that debate, right? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm there all the time, and I, you know, I just say if people could come here just once to see. Oh boy, you must be. God bless you. The, <laughs> the work, the work you're doing, just sitting in on that. Yep. Oh, boy. It's a constant battle, but we've got to be vigilant. And, again, especially coming from Illinois right now, uh, we hear from folks all over the country, uh, gun rights folks all over the country who want to help us in Illinois. Yeah, and you let Dennis know, hey, you know, we all want to reduce crime. We want to, you know, and get rid of violence. That's crucial, but it ain't the way you want to do it. No, that that will not work. All gun control laws do is take guns away from law-abiding citizens. Period. Yeah. And that's not going to help crime. That will exacerbate crime.